And now for the top 10 most expensive opals in the world. At number 10, we have Treated Andamooka Matrix Opal. Matrix Opal is where opal forms within the tiny spaces inside of another rock, which is called the Matrix. We're not talking about the movie or the lunchbox. The Matrix rock for this type of opal is limestone. Now, limestone is white or tan, but what does Matrix Opal in limestone look like? Well, most of the time, it also looks white or tan, and you cannot see the color very well unless you treat it. To do this, Matrix Opal is soaked in sugar solution, then it's put in either sulfuric acid or heated to a high temperature. Either method destroys the sugar, leaving only the carbon which is black. With a black background, the opal is revealed, and sometimes it's just incredible. I believe that treated Andamooka Matrix is one of the most beautiful of all opals, and that's the reason it's included on this list. It's relatively inexpensive, but the results after treatment may be astounding. At number nine, we have United States and Canadian Rocky Mountain Opal. Rocky Mountain Opal is a term that I made up to describe the general area in which this opal occurs. The two most famous sites of occurrence of this opal are Virgin Valley, Nevada and Spencer, Idaho. But this type of opal forms in many areas in the western United States and Canada. This magnificent specimen of opalized wood was found by Julie Wilson at the Royal Peacock Opal Mine in Virgin Valley, Nevada. In the past, this opal has not received the recognition that it deserves because at least some of it is prone to cracking. But it can be stabilized with special epoxy, which makes it 100% stable forever. By the way, you can dig your own opal at the Royal Peacock Opal Mine, which is open from May 15th to October 15th. Australian white opal is one of the world's most beloved types of opal. It has been the number one type of opal used in opal jewelry for decades, and it's the type of Australian opal that many people are most familiar with. It is quite variable and may have only tiny flecks or broad bands of color. But the one thing they all have in common is the white background. This type of opal is very popular because it's relatively abundant, relatively inexpensive, and because the color is white. As it turns out, many people, including my wife, prefer white opal because white goes with anything, from fancy dresses to t-shirts and blue jeans. When I wear my purple satin dress, I always choose white opal jewelry. White opal may not be number one, but it's still one of the most popular opals in the world. Ethiopian Wello Opal is now the number one type of opal used in the jewelry trade, having overtaken all other types of opal in the past five to ten years. The mine was discovered in 2008 in northeast Ethiopia in the Wello province, hence the name. But why is it the number one opal used in jewelry? Well, it's beautiful and extremely abundant. There is a one meter thick layer of this stuff in the side of a hill, and this layer appears to extend for hundreds of kilometers in all directions, possibly a bottomless pit, so to speak. How beautiful is Wello Opal? Well, listen to the words of an expert. The best Ethiopian opal can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with high-grade Australian. The overriding difference between high-grade Wello Opal and high-grade Australian Opal is the price. There are indeed other factors involved here, and you can check my previous videos for more information about that. But if Willow Opal is so good, why is it only number seven? Good question. It's number seven because it is so abundant that prices are low, and this is, after all, a video about the most expensive opals in the world. Precious Mexican Fire Opal is number six on our list. But what is Fire Opal after all? Fire Opal is a term that we use for any opal, no matter where it's from, that's predominantly red to yellow-orange, like fire. Fire Opal does not need to have play of color to be beautiful. 
very good common fire opal is often faceted, just like other colored gemstones like rubies or sapphires. Fire opal without play of color is found in many places in the world, including Western Australia, Brazil, and the United States. Precious fire opal is only found in Mexico and Ethiopia. Precious Mexican fire opal is both beautiful and uncommon. Because of the beauty and scarcity, the price is relatively high. It's used to make exquisite jewelry and is highly sought after. Number five on the list is Australian semi-crystal opal. This opal is beautiful and it's a cut above white opal, but a cut below pure Australian crystal opal. It's used widely in jewelry and is popular throughout the world. The price is not as high as Australian crystal opal, but is often significantly higher than that of Australian white opal. It's very popular and makes great jewelry. At number four on our list is Brazilian opal, a scarce type of opal that occurs in the northeastern part of Brazil. It is beautiful and relatively expensive because it is not very abundant. Like Australian opal, Brazilian opal comes as white opal, semi-crystal opal, and crystal opal. Brazilian opal is best compared to Australian semi-crystal opal, but the price is somewhat higher, and that's why it comes in at number four on this list. If you like good opal, you'll like Brazilian opal. It makes excellent opal jewelry. At number three on our list is Australian crystal opal, one of the most expensive and beautiful types of opal on earth. Many of the most beautiful and valuable pieces of opal jewelry ever made are made of Australian crystal opal. The Andamuka opal, for example, is an opal pendant owned by Queen Elizabeth. Rough Australian crystal opal may sell for up to $60,000 per ounce, and cut stones may sell for $2,000 or more per carat. Needless to say, Australian crystal opal is fantastic opal, something that most people, especially opal-holics, would kill for. Well, maybe not kill, but maybe simple battery? At number two is Australian boulder opal. It is one of the most beautiful and expensive of all types of opal. It forms within narrow seams in ironstone, and when the seams are split apart, boulder opal, backed by dark ironstone, may show some of the most vibrant colors seen in the opal world. The price of boulder opal is difficult to determine because the weight is not really a valid way to price it because more than half of each boulder opal specimen is ironstone and ironstone weighs five times more than opal. Pricing it by the carat isn't really right, but some opal sellers will price it by the carat. But ultimately, you pay for the beauty and the larger it is, the more expensive it will be. At the top of the list of the world's best opals is Australian black opal, the best of which comes from Lightning Ridge, New South Wales. Wales. Although black opal is not necessarily more expensive or more beautiful than boulder opal, it is generally regarded as the top opal of all. Lightning Ridge black opal routinely sells for between two and eight thousand dollars per carat and prices up to twelve thousand dollars or more per carat have been seen. So why is black opal better than boulder opal? Maybe this is because black opal is usually thicker than boulder opal and stones can be cut with a domed surface. The dome allows it to be viewed from many angles. Of course, I made this up, but I'm sticking with this explanation. But to follow through with this, the purpose of all jewelry is to be viewed, to be noticeable. Let's all admit it, that's what jewelry is for. So if black opal is a little bit more noticeable than boulder opal, that's all I need. It's number one in my book. I need to tell you all the difference between precious opal and common opal. Precious opal is opal with sparkle, fire, sometimes called opalescence, but it's best referred to as play of color. That's what we at Pulitzer Opal call it. That's me and Sheila. And precious opal has play of color. Common opal does not. Simple as that. I also have to explain the difference between white and crystal opal. White opal has a cloudy white background. Some light gets through, but not much. Crystal opal, on the other hand, is almost transparent so that you can see all of the color, the play of color, 
within the stone. But wait a minute. Aunt Thelma has a ring with an opal in it that is not really white, but it's not really crystal. What gives? Opal that is neither white nor crystal is referred to as semi-crystal opal. Simple as that. End of story. I've been asked many, many times to make a video covering all of the different types of opal. People are confused on this subject, and we don't want confusion here at Pulitzer Opal. Now, I know some of you guys know everything about opal, so I suggest that you just take the day off. Maybe go feed some ducks, or go back to watching PewDiePie. Now, I'm not... We're not opal experts. Stick around. Today I'm going to tell you a lot about the different types of opal. We'll make some sort of sense of this whole thing. But honestly, I don't really understand what all the confusion is about. I mean, you've got your black opal, your white opal, well, and then there's wellow opal, boulder opal, matrix opal, and Brazilian opal, Honduran opal, Slovenian opal, Indonesian opal, Virgin Valley opal, Shua opal, Louisiana opal, crystal opal, jelly opal, fire opal, honey opal, galaxy opal, contralusa opal, stash opal, borado opal, sunset opal, girasol opal, Andean blue opal, highlight opal, Madagascar green opal. So, how is this confusing? I don't get it. Well, I obviously don't have time to go through the entire list. I mean, nobody wants to hear about 35 things. Any 35 things, and all in the same video, do they? Okay, if you see that this video has 3 hours and 11 minutes left, I'd bail out right now. So in this video, I'm going to clear up some of the confusion. My number one goal on YouTube, after all, is to teach. And confusion is not on my list of YouTube goals. Let's take a look at this list. Oops. Well... I see confusion is on the list, but it's, but it's way down at number 17. When you can see at number one is teaching, then the entertainment, and well, heck, you don't need to know all this stuff. We have Opal to talk about. Now, for those of you who are still around, congratulations. You win the Picture Jasper Cabochon. Actually, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be announcing the winner of that Cabochon in my next video. See you then.